Sandra, back in, back in Las Vegas, you've been here a couple times now. I mean, is this starting to feel like a, like a comfortable place for you? Yeah, it's my third fight in a row here in the Apex. I am 2-0, and on Saturday going to be the third one. <laughs> I wonder it's a, a positive and negative, right? Because you haven't had that full arena experience that everybody's getting, but yet you've had a lot of success here. So are you happy that you're back at the Apex, or do you feel you're missing something? No, I actually don't miss anything. You know, for me, a fight is a fight. You know, it's nice to have a crowd, and uh, it's nice to have crowd who are cheering for you, but uh, I don't need any, anyone to push me uh, to a fight, you know? If a fight is a fight, I can fight in Apex, I can fight in a parking, I can fight somewhere else. A fight is a fight, man. Talk to me about your last two years and how you view it, right? Because you haven't had a lot of fights, but yet you're number three in the division, so it's been successful for you. So are you happy with the way things have played out, or do you wish you would have more chances to fight? I would wish that I could fight the last year even one more time. You know, it's a 14-month layoff for me. But I've been really working hard these last 14 months, really. I, I improve all my skills, and uh, I got one year older. That means I'm one year smarter. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, can't wait. You know, I'm so excited for the fight. Even I, uh, believe me or not, I'm enjoying the weight cut because it's, it's like 14 months I didn't fought. So, yeah, even that is it's funny. How challenging was the rescheduling for you? Did it, did it make it difficult to kind of set your schedule, that sort of thing? I mean, no. Uh, I'm, I'm a type of guy, I'm always in training and always in, let's say, 80% of shape. So I just need a couple of five, six weeks to get on 100%. So, yeah, I got the name Jan Blachowicz, and I was very happy about the opportunity to fight a former champ. And I start my uh, preparation really early. And then he canceled the fight. But I took some intensity out of uh, focusing on the game plan. And then when we had a new date to fight, uh, then we put the intensity up. And, yeah, we are ready to go. When you hear that his injury, he was temporarily paralyzed for a while. I mean, and now he's fighting two months later. How does that affect you? Do you start thinking, oh, this guy, is, there's no way he's going to be 100%. I, you know, I'm going to get an easier version of this yeah. guy. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it sounds really a weird injury, but uh, he managed to heal very fast. And I expecting not a, 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 I expecting a, the best version of Jan Blachowicz, because especially after his last performance, we're not good. He lost the belt. And... Uh, he gonna come to uh, he gonna come Saturday night to the octagon and he gonna be motivated and focusing. He wanted belt back, but there is one problem. That's me. I know you want to fight all the biggest names, but is this kind of a special fight? As you said, a former champion, but also you know two European guys. You probably followed his career maybe a lot closer than, than some of the other guys around the world. Yeah, I mean this is the biggest fight of my life, you know, and fighting a former champ. And the fourth title uh, contender, uh, no, the fourth former title contender, the fourth. So I beat him on number, uh, I beat him on Saturday, the number one contender. They know, there is no doubts about that I'm going to fight for a title next. This was going to ask, I mean, to, it, this looks like it should be a number one contender fight. Do you feel this is absolutely a number one contender fight? Absolutely. For me, in my position, it feels like it's a title eliminator fight for him. I really don't know, but uh, I see it is as a title eliminator fight, yeah. Knowing that, have you let yourself think about Glover and Yiri and how that fight plays out? I mean, do you have a predi prediction for how that fight plays out? Uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I see this fight as a 50-50 chance because uh, if Glover can uh, stand the pressure of Yiri, what he puts in, in the beginning of the fights, if he can't... Uh, stand the pressure in the first round or the beginning of the second, then uh, probably he's going to drag Yiri to deep waters, probably submit him or TKO him or going to decision. But if he can't stand the pressure what uh, Yiri puts in his fights in the beginning, uh, this is going to be a quick night for Glover Teixeira. Is there one guy you'd rather face for the title? Uh, I honestly uh, would love to fight Glover because he's a bigger name, he's a champion, he's 
in the in, in the business for a while, and uh, I think he has not so much time left in his career like Yuri does. And uh, Yuri is still young. He's uh, this, I think the same age like me, and I think he he's gonna be in the top for a while like me. And sooner or later, I'm gonna fight him once or twice or even three times. We don't know what what how the cards gonna play out. Seems pretty inevitable you guys will meet at some point. Yeah. Well, knowing all that's on the line, you know, obviously you can't think too much about that. You got to think about this. How do you see this fight going? I mean, is this something where you can go in and be dominant? Is this something where you're going to have to drag it out over five rounds? I mean, what kind of fight are we going to see? I mean, my goal is always to be dominant in every fight, you know, and you could see that in the previous fights. And uh, I know Jan going to come prepared, but after the first exchange, he's going to feel that... Uh, I'm a different animal than the last time. Uh, I'm ready for everything. You know, I did my homework. I start really early with my conditioning work uh, for five rounds. And I believe that after Saturday night, I'm going to fight the next fights, only five rounds fights. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for five rounds of pure domination or I'm ready to knock him out or submit him in the first round, you know. Hey, Alexander, um, you've only been to a decision four times in your career, but there's this narrative out there that the fans think that you're a boring fighter. What do you say to that? I really don't care. You know, if the, if the guys, if the, if the people say that I'm a boring fighter, they would be sitting here and doing better than me, right? Uh, sometimes the, car, the, the fight, it happens like this, you know, and you cannot rush for a knockdown, a knockout, because if you rush... For a knockout, it can get, go fast that you're getting knocked out. So, and uh, you need to be stay composed, uh, stay disciplined, and pick your shorts, and see your momentum, and then uh, uh, take it. You know. So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't care what the, what the, what the people say. Uh, I know uh, what I can do, what I'm able to, and I know that I'm gonna be the world champion soon. So speaking on that, um, at the end of the day, Saturday night, do you feel like you're going to be able to finish Sean? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Uh, I know how hard I worked the last year and years, and I've been in the, in, 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 the, in the game for a long time. And I know that I can finish anybody on the world. Anybody. doesn't matter if it's heavyweight or light heavyweight. I saw that you had a Denver Nuggets uh, jersey. Um, what... What was your decision to wear that? Uh, because of my man Nikola Jokic. He's an MVP. I'm a fan of him. And he's from my country. And I want just to support him. And, and I'm happy for him. Awesome. And then finally for me, who gave you your nickname Rocket? Uh, I got this for a couple fighters from my area, from, from, from the Balkans, you know, because uh, after I got the name after the Jimmy Manuel knockout because... Uh, they were so explosive, and, and, and I know that I'm one of the most explosive guy in the division and the most fastest guy. And with the kicks I throw, yeah, and Rocket and Rakic, you know, it's kind of like similar. That's the reason they called me Rocket, and I pretty like it, you know. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Alexander, Jim Greeshaber, MMA Weekly. You, you're a guy who's taken the fast track your whole career. You come to the UFC in under 10 fights. You're fighting Jimmy in your fourth fight. Then you lose a tough one against Ozdemir, right? What was that like for you? It was a tough fight, could have gone either way, really close at the end, split decision. But to taste that first UFC loss mentality-wise, then you come back and beat two former title contenders. What in that time frame changed for you after you lost that first fight, if anything? And how did that help you moving forward? I mean, uh... I've been. I lost my first MMA fight in my uh, every every first fight in uh, MMA fight. So, and this was a really loss for me. And uh, I felt like a loser that night. And I felt like the last months always thinking on that loss. But after I lose to Volkan Nurdzemir, it didn't feel like a loss because deep in my heart and deep, uh, you know, I know that I won that fight. And uh, the people around the world also know that I won that fight. So I never felt like a loser in that, you know. And if I see this, if I rewatch the fight again and again, and if, if I see the state, uh, the, 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 the states, uh, come on. 
I didn't lose the fight. But anyways, uh, <laughs> the, even the UFC gave me after Walker Nozdemir, uh, Anthony Smith as an opponent, even a better ranked guy than Volkan and a guy who beat Volkan. So, you know, this makes sense, right? And I beat Anthony easy. And then Santos. So uh, I'm happy about my achievements, but I don't want to look back about uh, my wins. They are pretty nice, but in front of me is a dangerous guy, Jan Brahovic. I'm going to put him away on Saturday, and then I'm going to fight for the title. And I'm going to stay in the, in, in the top for a while, and I'm going to be the champion for a while. And last thing for me, did you play soccer as a kid or football as an American football? No, I played soccer as a okay, kid. That makes yeah. sense. You got kicked off for being too aggressive. I was wondering, if that was American football, it'd be kind of... No, I, American football in Austria is not so big. Uh, let's be honest, like here in the States. But I played soccer and I uh, was a, a guy who plays in the defense. Yeah, I was a little bit too aggressive to the strikers, so they kicked me out. And then I go straight to the kickboxing. You found the right place. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome.